Good evening. Um, this is Pam McKean and Corrine Floyd, and uh, today we're talking about Google Trends and how to use Google Trends to find buyer keywords. Uh, um, we're going to be talking about putting Google Trends to work for you. Um, how you can use this uh, free uh, tool provided by Google to help you uh, build your blogs, uh, help you with your writing, help you to uh, gain ranking with your um, with your uh, posts and with your your websites. So basically, the steps when you go in, and we're, what we're going to do is we'll talk about this part of it, and then Corinne's going to we're going to do a demonstration and go through some keywords and how to apply them in the uh, Google Trends. So you take keywords and enter them into the Google Trends. Um, and then you find out how the keyword has performed against over time and whether the keyword uh, is becoming more or less popular. So we, uh, Google Trends provides a graph that you can, uh, you can see the trends, uh, how, how it is affected, whether it's a popularity, whether it's uh, on the upscale or whether it's on the downscale. And um, check the related terms to find more keywords that you can use. So in the system itself, when you're starting out or when you're thinking of maybe a post and you are going to choose a keyword, you can go in there and see, well, is that one that, um, is that a word or a phrase that's being used or as a search? And if it is and it's highly popular, well, then, of course, if you put that into your post, you're going to attract uh, people to your, your blog and to your posts, and that way uh, increase your traffic. So strong keywords will stabilize or raise trends should be used in, in the domain name, main page titles, page descriptions, and within important copy. Check the trends for your major keywords in the various countries you are targeting. So it, you're, if you're marketing, say, hypothetically in China, or um, you have a market that you're building up in the UK, or it could be specifically in Australia, you're going to want to check how the trends affect uh, that particular uh, country versus maybe in the United States. If, if we're uh, if from the United States or Canada, it's not necessarily the same res results that you're going to get in a different country. So you can check your countries that you're marketing in. Um, it may not be as popular, so you may choose not to market in that area, but maybe it's very popular in the United States, whereby then you would choose to market in that area and find another keyword that might be more appealing to, say, someone in Australia. So you check the trends for your major keywords in various countries you are targeting. Google Trends allow you to catch growing search trends and get your copy in front of uh, them, in front of the people and your readers. And since it's free, the only cost is a few minutes of your time. So again, Google not only provides you with what the daily trends are, we'll show you where those are at and how you can uh, uh, use that to your advantage, but it um, allows you also to pick up on what's being searched for. And there, of course, you're going to direct your copy to that, um, to the what, what is trending or what is the market is searching for at this time. So I know that's a brief PowerPoint. It's just a, a, a overall picture. And I'm going to tr uh, turn it over to Corrine. And then she uh, can, uh, she's going to do the demonstration uh, from here on in. Hold on. Okay, Corinne, have you got it? Uh, yes. So okay. I will show my screen here. Uh, you can see my screen, Pam? Yes. Yeah, okay. So when you're going in to find Google Trends, you can just type in here up at the top. It's just www.google.com slash trends and you'll come to this page. So you really don't even have to sign into your own Google or Gmail account. So once you get to this page, 
you can type in now. I thought I would uh, type in something rather than online marketing or something like that. I know, um, like even in like in Better Women's Network, there are lots of people that also have health companies and. A health industry is a huge industry, but you need to think of words that people would search for or problems that they would want to solve that are much smaller niches. So I haven't done this one before, so I have no idea what will come up. But um, I'll just type in natural. Well, actually, I did do this one, but a long time ago I made a, a blog on this. So we'll just see what's here for this. Now, this is going to be natural remedies for cancer. So you see, you wouldn't want to put in um, things like like health and wellness or, you know, uh, energy drinks or um, vit uh, multivitamins or minerals or things like that. I mean, those are so huge. You have to try and think of a problem that somebody would really benefit by having some good advice on. So we'll just see what happens here. So what we would do is put that in and then just hit explore. Now you can see that this graph is certainly was a flat line in 2005 and then it really has taken a leap. People looking for natural remedies. You can search it down here um, worldwide or again now you can pick your, con your country, United States or Canada, Australia, I mean, you can pick any country and try it. So I think for this one I'll to the United States, um, these particular states come out a little more than the other states. This one is uh, from 2004 to the present. And then you can narrow that down into the past 7 days, 30 days, 90 days, or the past 12 months. So if we click on the past 12 months, we'll see if our graph changes a wee bit. Now, I think that uh, this thing at the end here where it just drops right off, I think that's just because it's the end of their data. I don't think that the number of searches has dropped off because this is March 3 to 9th and they maybe just don't have that information yet. I think it just ends there for March the 2nd. So you can see that there's a fairly strong search for it. But it, there isn't any related terms here. Usually, if your term is a little more popular, you'll get some related keywords right here. We can also go into categories. So we could choose the health category. And again, you can see that there is some interest in it, but not enough to give us some related keywords. So let's just go back and um, cancer is going to be huge, but if we put cancer remedies, let's just see if we get a different result. Natural cancer remedies. Mm, didn't get a lot of difference there probably have to find something that um, people would look for. Like, for example, if it was arthritis, you, would, um, you wouldn't put in arthritis. You would put in something like, you know, um, aching joints or fingers, uh, <laughs> aching finger joints or aching knee joints. You, you, that kind of breaks it down a little bit more than just the word arthritis. So I'm just trying to give you ideas of going for smaller uh, keywords that people would actually search for. Try arthritis screen and see if it'll give you the other options. Uh, sorry, do what? Try, um, try um, arthritis and see if it'll give you or... Oh, other yeah. options down mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. There are, that's what I meant when it, it'll go right down to other options.
see if you specify, now there's a, an example of specifying. You can't solve all the problems in the world, but you can solve one or two smaller ones. So if you go for the, the knee, um, you can see that there are people, you know, that there is some interest in that. It's, it's not huge, maybe, but at least it was worthy of a little more exploration. So if you click on that, then what, what does it give you? Arthritis knee pain, arthritis knee brace. So it depends on what your product is, and then you might have, you know, something that you could write about in, in that. It's just an idea, really, for one or two blog posts, but it's, it's a start. Uh, Pam, have you got so many other ideas I could put up here just to do one more, and then we'll finish off the recorded part? Did you do natural remedies? Part? Did you do um, natural I didn't remedies? Do. I'll try that. There we go. There are some other choices down here. Yeah, those are home, pretty strong. Home remedies. Yeah, home remedies, natural home remedies, anxiety, depression, cough remedies. And you can do more than one. Now, you see, we could add another term here and uh, just change it up a little bit. You want to stay away. I know in the health industry, you want to stay away from the words like cures then you're in trouble with the, um, the FDA and things like that if you promise a cure. <laughs> Any other ideas? What could I type in here, Pam? Uh, inflammation. Okay, so see what, see what, uh, okay. Yeah, see what happens there. You see you have people a lot even higher than just natural remedies. People typing to want to know more about inflammation. So then if you have an anti-inflammatory product, and that, goes to, yeah, that also shows you how you can add words and then you can compare them with the graph because each word you add on will give you a different color and then you can check to see that, which would be the say the strongest keyword that you you might be talking about uh, natural remedies but find that inflammation might be a better main topic to talk about or something like that a stronger keyword to use mm -hmm. and then you can of course check different countries how it works mm -hmm. uh, let's just add one more um, and inflammation Antioxidants? Mm -hmm. Okay. People use the word an antioxidants a lot, and then usually in the next sentence, what are antioxidants? Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least I do. <laughs> there we go. See, it's not not quite popular. so many. But now this hasn't changed down here, so how do we get this to change? I think you'd have to click on one of them. Like you'd have to do the search on each individual. Well, it is the search here. Mm -hmm. But your main your main word still is under the natural remedies. Oh. Then, if you saw that inflammation was a high one, then you might oh, want to click do here. It. Maybe there we go. Yeah. There we go. There's a bunch, body inflammation, and then for antioxidants, you'll get a bunch more. That's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. It certainly helps with your keyword. Here. Yeah, It does. And then you can see what states are most likely to be the most interested. Mm -hmm. So if you had, um, let's say you were um, doing some promotion or something for a specific uh, locale, um, like there's a lot of people that would have uh, maybe um, a store or they're doing promotion for a store in that area. They'd see that the demand is great. I mean, you can narrow that search uh, right down into cities and um, right. find out right what down, cities yeah. are looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So if you were doing some offline marketing as well as online marketing. Right. And yeah, you can change your things here. And then the, the last thing that we were just going to put on the recorded part of the webinar is the um, Google Trends. So I'll just go back to the beginning where we started and you can see what's trending today currently on Google. Right here, apparently there was an earthquake. I haven't heard about it yet, but there it was in Southern California. So you can, that's a hot topic right now. And then you can either hit these arrows here or these little circles and you'll find out what else people might be talking about in the news today. And if there's something that hits um, of interest that you might be talking about that's relevant to your topic, then you can get some information on it. It was Mother's Day yesterday in Great Britain. Often you would probably find some health topics in here, but not today. But those are the top, uh, the trending topics right now with the most searches in the United States, but then I suppose you can also change that to a different country. Because if you were in your, like if I was in google.ca, this would likely be different. So that's the end of our webinar, and I hope that uh, you got some value out of it. Alrighty, we'll go on to discussions. Girls, hold on a minute.